Hello and welcome to the presentation of the new CTOP Assistant in TIA Selection Tool. In this short video, we would like to show you how you can select quick and easy the right power supply for your project. In an existing project in TIA Selection Tool, the right CTOP power supply should be selected for the system ET200SP, a touch panel and a scalance switch. The easiest way to make this is via the 24 volt consumer view. But see for yourself how it works. At the beginning, an unspecified power supply must be added to the project using the new power supply button. After double clicking on the power supply, the assistant appears. Here, it is first asked which loads are to be supplied with a power supply. In this example, all three loads must be supplied. In the lower part of the window, you can also specify the simultaneity factor and a reserve for additional consumers. In principle, a reserve of approximately 30% of the total load is assumed. In this case, a reserve of 3 Ampere is selected. The minimum output current the power supply must provide is already displayed here. Now it could be continued with the power supply button on the left side of the wizard. All devices with an output current greater than 10 Ampere are listed in an overview. On the left side, the selection can be reduced and specified using filters. A single phase power supply with push in terminals is now selected for this project. The selection of the proposed devices is now significantly reduced and it could be chosen between the 10 Ampere or 20 Ampere variant. Due to the calculated load of 8.7 Ampere, PSU 6200 with 10 Ampere is the best choice. After selecting the device, the general information such as the designation and order number of the power supply is clearly displayed. From here, there is also the possibility to go directly to the online support. On the left side, there is now the option to select additional modules for the control circuit, such as a redundancy module, modules for selective protection or for power failure bridging. In the following, a redundancy module and an electronic fuse module should be added to the 24 volt supply to ensure the availability of the DC power supply in the event of a fault. To select the appropriate RED1200 redundancy module, select Redundant Configuration on the left side of the wizard. After answering the question about the redundant structure, the redundancy module is displayed here. The important data about the device and the direct link to the online support are also displayed here. Now, an important and decisive device can be selected when it comes to the availability of the 24 volts, the selectivity module, which, in the event of a short circuit or overload, only switches off the affected branch so that the remaining outputs can continue to be supplied. For this purpose, the button Selective Protection has to be clicked on the left side of the wizard. After answering the question of whether the branches should be split up and monitored, the module can be added. The required and suitable device can be specified in the following selection window. In this case, a cell 1400 selectivity module with 8 outputs with 10 Ampere each. In the next step, it must be determined which loads are to be connected to the cell 1400 module. The assigned consumers are clearly listed again for an overview and control. 
the last still configurable component for bridging power failures is not required for this project, so that the wizard will be led back to the 24 volt view via the button Result and Apply Selection. Here the selected power supply PSU6200 with 10 Ampere, the redundancy module RED1200 and the selectivity module Cell1400 are already placed and connected to the loads. Further details on the nominal and peak currents are listed in the lower part of the window. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.